I am often asked, Nick, why don't you travel the world? Why don't you travel to Spain, this country you keep talking about? And here's what inspired it. Uh, I'm looking at a comment that I got on a video I made called, Why Are There Mexicans Living in Spain? I Am Confused. Uh, someone commented, quote, Nick, you were trying to, for example, study the stars without the use of a telescope or without knowing much theory or history. You keep asking questions that would have an answer if you'd go to Spain or if you had some more direct experience with people from Spain, but I know you refuse to do it. Is it ethnocentrism? While it is healthy to explore the way you do it, and that is the reason I keep watching your videos, you could consider some obvious suggestions Otherwise, it seems you are out of touch with the world that you want to understand. So there you go. So we, we've got that comment. And then within a few minutes, I got this other comment from, from someone who actually is from Spain. And I love this. Someone from Spain that understands me. It was a completely unrelated video that I made a couple months ago called Being Rude to Americans, France versus Spain, which is worse. And here's what somebody said. Quote, I am from Spain and I will only say that you can't judge all the people from a country because of the comments of a video, but you can't generalize asking which is worse because it's very relative. But I understand that you can have that perception because for example, I can have a not so good experience with a person from France or even from Spanish region. Now, I will never tell someone to learn my language because I am nobody to do so. But I'll tell you that if you can have the option of traveling because you experience culture firsthand and day by day, it opens your mind. This way, maybe your perception really changes, or maybe not, who knows. I'll show you some love by saying that I like some of your videos more than others. I'm kidding, end quote. So here's the takeaway from that for me. I think a lot of people are confused why I talk so much about other parts of the world, especially Europe, especially Spain, and I make it very clear that I have zero interest in, in going there. I mean, granted, if someone would give me a free trip there, I wouldn't turn it down. If it didn't interfere with my actual real job that I do during the day. <laughs> but <laughs> it's just interesting to me that I can't talk about and ask questions about other cultures without it becoming some kind of obligation to go to that place and learn the language. I think that's interesting uh, to me because if I was on a, a, a different version of reality, if I was not an American and I was making videos asking about America, I wouldn't say to the person, come to America, learn English. I would just say, okay, you have questions? Yeah, let me, let me answer this for you. See, I mean, if, if anything's ethnocentrism, I feel it's when people say that I need to learn their language and come visit their country because I have questions about it. To me, that's actually ethnocentric. Why can't I be a casual observer who has a video channel that's becoming more popular where we ask these questions? Why can't we just ask questions without having to completely convert, learn the language, go there? I mean, come on, I'm married, I have two kids. I have a full-time job, I have two YouTube channels, I have two uh, SEO jobs that I do, and I have like five jobs that I'm doing. So what, I'm gonna drop all of that, go to Europe, learn different languages, which I have already taken five years of French in, in high school and college, and a year in Spanish, uh, Spanish in high school as well. I have traveled the world to New Zealand, to Ecuador, to Trinidad, Tobago, to Korea, to, I already said New Zealand, Thailand. I've traveled the world, I've learned more than just my own language, and still people say that I am the one who is ethnocentric. And I've even said that I do not believe that an American soul is worth more than any soul from any other country. I believe that we're human beings and our souls are worth just as much. I, I do not see myself as an American who's any better than anybody else. So, I don't know. I sort of feel like people who say that I'm ethnocentric <laughs> Maybe they're ethnocentric. I think it's up for debate. But ultimately, I think for the fact that I've traveled the world, I've learned two other languages, maybe but not by immersion, but I have learned them. I have traveled the world. 
and I don't expect anyone else to learn my language. I don't expect anyone else to learn, to, to, to come drop their married life with kids and all these jobs to come to America. I don't need them to do that. If they ask a question, I'm happy to answer it. But I think it's ethnocentric for someone to say that I should learn their language and come to their country just because I have a question about it. It's amazing to me that I am being accused of being ethnocentric. It seems like the people who are accusing me of that are the ones who are actually ethnocentric. This is an interesting theme. All right, sort it out. Details, you know what to do.